everyone, Mr. Markic here, and today's just a quick update video on what I've been doing for the past few weeks and why there's no videos. So, I've been working on remaking the whole Merc API website, and what you're looking at is version 2 uh, of the website basically. And as you can see, it's had a major facelift, it looks a lot better, um, a lot cleaner as well than the old version. Um, so, what, what it is everything's mainly the same uh, except we got a new dashboard uh, feature up here which we'll get to uh, in, in this video so we'll start off page by page what we got here is the main page again um, it has it's had a few improvements so as you know before we got a list here of all the APIs and of course there's currently 40 and we add a new one each week or two um, so definitely worth the money because you get a new one as well a, a, as well as all of these base ones that there's there now um, so the new thing about it is a really useful thing you can click you can literally just one click on the text box and it will copy the link for you and that works for all of the links and that's really good because it saves you a bit of time from highlighting it all control C or whatever you do to copy it and also I have did a bit of improvements with the key updater here so if you were to press it you'd need to enter your key so let's say you got a key and it's 808080 80, you press update keys and now you see that that has been added to all of the URLs. So now, if let's say you're making a program uh, with a TeamSpeak server info, you just copy it and quickly go and paste that in. So it makes it easy on your end as well. And everything's the same. We've still got the statistics at the bottom, which if you like looking at them, I, I do. That's why I got them there. But it's there if you want to see it. And so that's it for the main page. Had a lot of improvements and a lot easier to do things. Then you've got the purchase page which is the same it's had a bit of an uplift as well uh, this is now in a nice little table and the price has been changed now to five dollars a lifetime which is still the cheapest you can get for everything everything we have it's, it's the cheapest price um, anywhere for what you get and that's really simple so you buy now you go to PayPal you check out and you come back and you get displayed your key and if you're not displayed your key within the first couple of seconds, check your email and your key will be in the email as well. Um, so that's that for the buy page, not much change there. And also uh, Bitcoin should be coming soon as well if, if you like to operate in Bitcoin. Uh, so for the next page we've got the documentation. And basically we've got one for every single API we currently offer. Um, so let's say you just want to know a bit, bit of information about it, you'll click click it and it will drop down some information about it so this one is a get uh, that tells you the URL to grab and it also tells you the attributes of each one and if they're required or optional and of course each API now supports JSON so you add JSON onto the end of the links and you can get that if you prefer that um, so that's always a nice option to have and each one shows you an example response of what the API will, will return. Obviously this is random, so this example response would change, but you get the idea that's an example fact. And it's the same for any of them really. You can click them and they all have information about them and what they return before you buy, if, if that's what you're into. And also down at the bottom of the page, we got a few code examples. Um, so let's say you want to code in PHP, you click it, and there's some code examples here. Um, for how everything's working as you can see and hopefully we we hope we aim to get some more examples here for some different languages as well in the future so for the next page we've got the new dashboard um, it isn't actually fully complete how I'd like it but it is in a working state where it's good enough for people to use so everything's working that's on the page um, so what happens is and by the way there's no point you try in the free key because it is locked um, which is a new feature so basically let's say your key accidentally does get leaked you can come into your dashboard and you can lock it and that stops anyone from using it and also we've got the generate new key which is currently disabled um, for now but that will be enabled uh, very shortly just because it can cause a few issues which need to be worked out uh, up at this point but obviously if your key does get leaked you lock it and you report the key and that will let us know and we'll check everything out with the key and stuff and obviously now each call to your APIs get logged so what hap what that means is basically every log that gets used or every eight time your API gets used with your key 
it will show here in the log. Now on the dashboard it only shows the top 10 but what you can do is you can click view all logs and it will take you to a page where you can see every single log uh, that's ever happened for your key. And also you can press the clear button and clear it all. And what we got is when you buy a key you'll be given a password as well to obviously to access this dashboard and you can enable the password on your API so uh, what that means is how you usually have so let's pretend this is an API you'd have key is equal to your key and what you can have is you can say and password is equal to and you can have your password which you use to log in uh, on the end of your API as well if your key does get leaked that's another option you can have and it's simple you can click the button you can see password is enabled and now you can disable it just like that it's a, literally a click of a button same with unlock it's all done it's, it's nice and easy for you um, so that's it for the dashboard and what we've got soon is an IP and browser lock coming so let's say you don't want certain IPs to use it you just add them to the lock press uh, enter add them to it and they can no longer use it same with the browser say if you don't want people using Chrome to use it uh, that's another option as well and down the bottom here nothing really interesting for you but there's an advertisement which people can use if they want to help the service grow uh, so that would be nice of you if you could use that as well which is down there so that's it for the dashboard page for now which is going to have a lot more features coming in the future I'll log out just to show you what the login page looks like which is nothing special uh, but this is what you're greeted with when you first go to the page uh, so on the next page we've got the FAQs um, obviously just a few common questions and answers on the page the brown the brown uh, rectangle is the question the blue one is the answer um, so that's pretty straightforward and we've got mainly all of the questions from before and also uh, a few new ones in there as well if you care to read about uh, the FAQs and for the last page we've got the support and obviously uh, it's the same but I did uh, make some improvements so now you'll see if you send the ticket um, you get the message there so that it's, the site no longer refreshes and stuff it's all done with jQuery um, so it means everything's done without reloading the page which makes it all uh, nice and easier for the user to use uh, and that's it let's say you enter all these fields legit um, then you'll be greeted with a green message and your ticket is submitted and that's that for the pages there's a few more pages like the checkout page um, key confirming the stuff but you don't really need to see those unless you purchase so you'll be able to see those when you need to and also I added this nice little scroll to top button here which is quite nice if you don't like scrolling manually because there's quite a few APIs that can get kind of uh, long to keep scrolling uh, so that's it for the new um, two, version 2 of Merck API um, I hope you enjoyed it if you did actually uh, buy this already and you need a key for the dashboard what you can do is either message me on Skype send a support ticket or add me on discord and everything will be in the description for that as well if you want to do that and for those of you that are new and you have purchased it um, you can message me and I'll personally say thank you to you as well uh, so that's it for that um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time